I mean, y'all sit up here asking silly questions to me, and I'm looking at y'all with the same thing. So I, I don't agree. know what y'all want me to say. Like, right. No, you know that. You know he hasn't said that. So for okay. you to just ask the question, you know, it is what it is. Each and every day, I don't necessarily care about who's starting. I mostly care about, you know, making sure that I put the best product out there for me. And I know Mac is feeling the same way. I know Brian is feeling the same way and everybody else going down each and every position. So, you know, as far as week one, we got so much to to to, to worry about prior to week one. And, and that's that's what my focus is right now. Yeah, Cam, we've got a little time left until week one. You play the Eagles there in Philadelphia on Thursday night on NFL Network. Shregs, what does it mean that Cam hasn't been officially named the starter? It means that he hasn't blown away Mac Jones. I think that in any good situation, you want a competition, you want it to be healthy, but you also want to have one person say, hey, I'm seizing that torch and I'm taking it. I think Cam will start week one. In fact, I would be shocked if the rookie starts week one for Bill Belichick. I'd be shocked. Uh. I think Cam starts week one. But I also think it's interesting that he hasn't run away with his job. After what we heard all summer that, you know, Cam A was upset the summer before that 31 other teams were passing on him and he was on the biggest motivational trip of his career. B, that he had finally learned the playbook. C, that last year was kind of shortened because of the, the injury, obviously, but also having COVID in week two or mm -hmm. week three. I thought Cam would come out of the gates in August and blow Mac Jones out of the water. But you look at the breakdown of just his first preseason game, and we talked about it at length on Friday. Mac looked apart. Mac looked apart. Now, granted, Cam was against Chase Young and, and some of the other starters on Washington, and Mac Jones was against some of the second and third string players. But this has not been one of those deals where it's like, oh, the rookie is a long way to go, and it's going to, he'll be there eventually, and maybe by week 10. No, like they're going throw for throw here. Now, I was listening to, to reports from yesterday's practice, and Cam didn't necessarily light it up, but mm -hmm. Mac didn't either. And it's going to be one of those deals where it's day to day. And Mike Giardi was quite honest in his assessments on Twitter about Cam's performance, mm -hmm. basically saying that this has not been an open, shut competition as much as I think a lot of Patriots fans expected it would be. So the fan base, I think a lot of them have a lot of heart for Cam. They want to see it work, but they know that Mac Jones is the launcher thing. And in that building, I can't tell you anything opposed to that. I believe it would be their ideal situation where they're like, Cam's the one and Mac's the two and let's all play and let's get ready. And when Mac's ready, he'll go. It hasn't been that. Mm -hmm. I think Cam and Mac are still battling it out. And it's August 17th. Mm -hmm. I think this Thursday night game against mm -hmm. the Eagles, as much as it's a preseason exhibition and Cam might play two series or might play three series, I think it still matters. I think mm -hmm. it's significant on who becomes the long-term quarterback this season. Mm -hmm. Week one, I would still think it's Cam. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if Belichick is either. I mean, look, we could be just lost in this sort of Belichickian, shadowy policy where he's not showing his hand, and maybe he already knows. What's interesting about this is, as much as we know about Bill Belichick, we have no idea how he handles a situation like this. We've never seen uncertainty at quarterback. And that goes back before Brady. When he showed up in New England, it's Bledsoe. It's, it's Bledsoe in a runaway. There's no uncertainty ever. He'd have to go all the way back to Cleveland. And yet, could you blame him if there was? Would any of us right now be like, yeah, definitely, Cam, it's not even a competition? No, you can't. Because, Peter, you showed the statistics with he and Mac. It was about more than the statistics. It was about just how they looked. It was optics. It was poise, especially as it pertained to Mac. But, man, this game on Thursday night is a big deal for Cam Newton. And I'm not even being a shill. Like, <laughs> if Cam comes out there and throws a pick, and one hops a couple of passes. Like, that could be it. I I'm serious. Like, and I'm not just meaning in a quarterback competition, we it might be Max Job. That could be it, it for Cam, like an end of an era. Th there is not another job for Cam Newton to start as a starter post New England. If he comes out and is flat and Mac Jones is doing this and this and this and running the offense, like, yeah, we really need to entertain this thing. This, I actually, Peter, the only thing I don't agree with you on, yeah. I don't think Patriots fans are in, like, Cam, Cam. I, I think they have almost no attachment to Cam. I think Mac is the future. I think Mac is young. So in that factor, I think they're going. And Belichick's like, yeah. took a first-round pick on a quarterback, You're Bill right. Belichick. If this thing is even, I think it's Mac. If mm -hmm. there's a slight question, it's Cam. But if it's a dead heat, you go with the kid. I think he's endeared himself. I know he's endeared himself to that media group. And I think that sort of tr trickles down to the fans. How's he viewed in that building quickly, Cam? Josh McCann. Beloved. Beloved. They love because him. he comes in with a, 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 a leadership vibe. And it's all positive, And he's been really good to the young quarterback this, this summer. So they love him in that building. But to Kyle's point, if he's not the best quarterback, all the love in the world falls secondary, right? I think the Patriots fans love Bill, too. In Belichick, we trust. Like they, if they, if he says Cam's the starter, he's our guy. We're gonna win games. 
I think Patriots fans are all in on it. Mm. My brother-in-law is a huge Patriots fan, and and when Brady left, I was like, hey man, are you are, are you uh, gonna buy new jerseys? Yeah. Are, are you are you stick with Brady? Are you going the Bucks? He's like. Patriots. I'm a t- team first. Uh-huh. I'm w- I ride with Bill. I think that's how a lot of Patriots fans feel. So they're, they're okay with whatever his decision is. To your point and to your question, Kay, about do we like Cam? Look, I hope Cam wins this starting job. You know why? This is the best version of Cam that I think I've ever seen. When he was down in Carolina, we were talking about his outfits and the post-game press conferences and was there beef with Kelvin Benjamin and you know all this stuff. This version of Cam, uh, he's smiling at the podium yeah. when they ask him are you? The, how can we not name the starter yet? And he's laughing with it. He's having fun with it. This is what I didn't think I would see from Cam, but he's all in with the Patriot way and 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 learning from Coach Bill Belichick and McDaniel's. And I think it's made him a better player. It certainly showed his mental toughness. I'm, I'm rooting for him, but I also. I, 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 I'm with you, Kyle, on his performance. If he's mm-hmm. skipping rocks out there, like th- th- it leaves no choice. But there are things that Cam Newton can do that Mac Jones can't. Sure. So that wrinkle, I know that that, that just that gets you excited if you're yeah if you're Bill Belichick, knowing what other defenses have to do to try to defend mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. And, and let's be honest, you think Darth Vader is going to give you his plan? No. I think Bill Belichick's going to say, hey, right. yes, Cam is my starter for week one. He he doesn't even talk about what he's eating for breakfast tomorrow. It's right. day by day. Three things we pray. Mm-hmm. Day by day is how he go, as how he <laughs> rolls. And in the Jedi mind trick, mm-hmm. it's worked on Cam. It's worked on everybody that goes into New England. So why would he stop now? The force is strong. Personnel-wise, I'll ask you, I've been saying this all offseason, the tight ends, the offensive line, it all sort of looks like it's built around Cam for him to succeed and sort of get it going. I also ask you, in preseason action, you're talking about this wrinkle. It's a really big wrinkle. You design runs for Cam. What he does best, you don't really do or show in the preseason because you don't want contact. You don't have to get hurt on the practice field, in joint practices, or in game action, right? Yeah, absolutely. You're not going to show all, all the quarterback design runs, the new wrinkles. Like what he does team. best, we're not seeing. Yeah. Sean, let me ask yeah. you a question. You were in New York when the Giants had Kurt Warner. Mm-hmm and had a number one overall pick in Eli Manning. In the preseason, was there any talk that Eli would start week one or everyone just knew it was going to be Warner? No, we knew it was Kurt, and and Kurt was slinging it, you know, and and I think that's probably the only difference between him and Cam is, you know, like if Kurt, right out out of the gate, man, I mean, the ball was coming out, and he could spread the ball around. Mm -hmm. So, no, there was no question – uh, we everybody knew that Eli was going to get the reins. To be honest with you, Kurt's still salty about it. He, we had a winning record when they made the move, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, but it was time. <laughs> I think Sorry, Mac Kurt. Jones will have to be okay. undeniable. Yeah. Like, uh, like not if Cam could be bad, Mac Jones could be what he was in the first preseason game, and Cam Newton is starting the game. I think Mac Jones has to be absolutely undeniable to mm. yank him, at least not give Cam Newton the first crack at it week one.